Quick answer is no. However, in certain applications, there may be a requirement for a distinction between greases, in which case dye can be added to the grease to distinguish one from another. Uh, that being said, those cases are not typically common, so often a dye is added to a certain grease tip, uh, only for peace of mind. Um, if someone is using a blue grease, they may have concern about changing to, for example, a red grease in that same in, in that in that same application. So, for peace of mind and continuity, you would supply potentially a blue grease, providing it was the best product for that particular job in hand. Different greases in different applications require different viscosities to perform their activities in the best possible manner. Um, viscosities of a grease will typically um, run from a, it can actually go as low as a, a double zero, triple zero, which is pretty much what it is a fluid grease. Uh, a number two would be a, an everyday viscosity for the majority of applications that we've come across. Right through to a number six, which would be like a chalk. Um, not terribly common. Um, more in extreme, extremely heavy applications, um, large cog mechanisms, etc. In a quick answer, yes, it really does matter. The um, soap up within a grease is hugely important and must be carefully selected based on your applications. Um, there isn't a one-size-fits-all grease on the market. So that purely refers to the viscosity of the product. So a, um, a number two would be a, a grease that we would all be very familiar with. Um, a double zero uh, would be more along the lines of a fluid grease. And uh, the range would typically extend to a number six, <coughs> which would be more like a chalk. No, it's a very good question. I'm glad you raised it. Greases are not all compatible with, with each other. Please be very careful when switching one grease out with another that you are switching the greases, uh, a compatible grease. If you are, you will have to do a complete purge on the bearings. <coughs> um, a number of cases I've been involved with, there has been catastrophic failure resulting in thousands and thousands of pounds of downtime due to greases being mixed and uh, not being compatible and then resulting in severe failure, severe breakdown. Um, one grease to be very careful of is a Bento based product which is incompatible with pretty much any other grease so if you currently have that running in your bearings uh, be very careful about switching to another product without a complete purge otherwise there could be catastrophic failure as a result. <laughs>